afternoon, TSA evaluators. Uh, this is our project submission for the architectural design uh, 22, uh, 2022 design challenge. All right, so we faced the problem with designing a park lodge for 12 park rangers to live in during the 10 months of the year. Um, and so we had to address the following. So we chose um, to place our lodge in Denali National Park uh, on the interior of, the, um, of Alaska. Um, so obviously we had to meet the constraints of the very extreme climat uh, climatic conditions uh, alongside uh, Denali subsist uh, subsistence mission statement. Um, all of our design choices are made uh, with special consideration with the superintendent's commendum for the down for Denali National Park, uh, the Federal Code of Regulations for all uh, NTS national parks, um, alongside uh, ADA compliance. Um, so in our actual design, we were asked to include a uh, main living area, kitchen facilities, a pantry, library with four computer stations, a meeting room, storage area, and also laundry facilities. As I will show you. So, This is the first floor. As you can see, we have um, we have the great room or the meeting or the um, actual main room, which everyone will be using. And then up here we have the library facility with the four, I actually added five computer areas. Uh, there's also a storage area. And then in the back here, you have the kitchen, the pantry, and then we have the dining area where everyone will eat. Uh, moving on to our second floor. This is where all the rangers will be sleeping and also you have the meeting room up in here and then you also have the laundry facilities uh, which works well since everyone can kind of work their traffic to the actual laundry facility and then you also have this hallway around the whole uh, main foyer. Um, so we were also asked uh, tasked with including in the 12 bedrooms for the rangers. Uh, space for the bed, nightstand, uh, foot locker, three drawer dresser, and a closet with an exterior window. Uh, as you can see in our CAD models, uh, we included that. And each room is about 350 square feet with a view overlooking Denali National Park. Um, also, in our second floor, we also added four uh, bathrooms, two for the men's and also two for the ladies. So there's a lot of aspects that uh, we weren't, sadly, were not able to put into the model. A lot of things you don't see um, that you uh, will only come from like actual construction. Um, so because of Denali's uh, permafrost depth, depth uh, uh, the foundation itself is going to be around nine feet deep. Um, we also took special consideration into Denali's uh, polar sun um, during the July, a uh, few weeks in July. Um, there is uh, several days where there is an eternal twilight where the sun doesn't fully go under the horizon. Um, we want to maximize this with solar panels, um, the use of which should uh, negate much of our power consumption. So looking in for water sources, uh, we went to quite a few different ideas. Um, the uh, use of groundwater sources um, seemed to be the most efficient and most uh, easy to access in terms of our options. So we assumed that despite uh, arsenic uh, contamination and uh, different issues given the climate of Denali, a uh, permanent well should be the way to go for this. Um, in terms of waste, um, obviously there'd be a significant amount of waste in the lodge this large. Um, Denali itself already has many different uh, waste management initiatives, including the Don't Build People Landfills, uh, which in which they use a lot of compost um, and a lot of um, what it's actually called the Earth Keep, um, in which uh, wastes uh, and bodily fluids are converted into compost for gardening and other such items, um, alongside the use of just sustainable cooking utensils and other, um, other advocacy for subsistence um, has really uh, made a number on reducing the carbon footprint of 
this lodge and many other visitor centers across Nowa National Park. Uh, thank you for watching. All of our specifics are and documentation will be in our portfolio and I hope you enjoy. Thank you.